Hi guys, I'm Diane and this is Narrow Dreams. Uh, we're out for a walk this beautiful October morning with the dog just coming down by the uh, towpath at Kidby on the uh, Sainforth Kidby Canal. So basically we're just going to be looking at the autumn sights this morning and taking the ancient dog beast for a walk. Um, so uh, main reason I've come out today actually is to uh, try a new camera I've got. It's not this one. Um, I'm going to try and be splicing uh, pictures between this one and the other one. So we'll see how that goes. So we don't have to be out long before Megan finds a friend. Ours is the uh, Golden Labrador. Uh, but she's obviously found a border collie to play with. But look at those beautiful autumn colours. And the colour of that sky. Morning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning pictures. So, Duncan's having a little potter about. Oh dear, we don't want to watch that. And off she goes again with Neil. She's. Uh, She's getting on a bit, bless her. She's uh, she's 12 years old now, so but she still does love to come for a come for a walk down the uh, towpath and uh, see what friends she can meet down there. So as I say, we're just out to have a look at the sights and see what we can see. So we've got all the um, foliage turning and falling off very quiet in terms of boats I think down there there's more than there usually is though so there's probably a few um, either coming up for winter mooring or to to get to where they want to go over winter that charming site is the Kidby power station uh, but at least it is a it is a clean one it's not othering out any uh, pollution that we can see so we're heading up to the uh, the railway junction and a rather unusual bridge up here but uh, more of that when we get there so uh, this is now the new camera i'm quite pleased with it it looks quite nice um so as i said earlier we're, we're walking down the stain for the kidby canal it was first opened in uh, 1802 um and it uh, it's very rural there's not it doesn't go through too many towns um the main one probably being thorn um but it is a lovely uh, stretch of canal and um, it's only got three locks along the whole length um one of those is to come on and one's to go off so it's uh, it's pretty easy going really a pair of ducks over there let's just see if we can get in any closer to have a look and bobbing at each other. I think it's the wrong time of year for that, chaps, but there you go. And here's Ancient Dog Beast again. Oh, what an absolutely stunning morning for the very end of October. It's, it's not cold, there's a very slight breeze, and as you can see, the sunshine is just amazing so really really nice morning for a walk uh, you might be able to see up ahead we're getting a bit closer to the uh, odd looking bridge I talked about earlier we'll have a closer look at that when we get there really not too sure how that works at the minute uh, obviously when we get a boat we'll find out because we'll come and have a look at it That lovely little swan has just been up close and personal to see if we've got any uh, goodies. I'm afraid we haven't got anything at all for you this morning, swan. But he's still coming down to have a look. So now we've got all the uh, wind turbines in the background. And the pylons. Obviously we're going away from a 
power station there. So I'm back down the canal. So currently the uh, the plan is, as I say, we're, we're at the end of October now. Uh, the plan is that we're going to start seriously looking at narrowboats in January. When we find the one we want, we'll, uh, we'll put an offer on, get the process moving, uh, get the house up for sale uh, by auction, which uh, takes two months from start to completion. Uh, so at least we'll have a, an end date uh, and then we'll uh, we'll hopefully be moving on March or April if we find the boat that we need and uh, a new lifestyle will begin um, the home decoration is is going really well we've uh, we've done quite a lot of that we will be finished by Christmas so that'll just be at the right time to be uh, looking for a boat in January not great weather to be looking for a boat but maybe uh, maybe there might be a a bit cheaper if um, people are hoping to to get them sold before the spring so we'll we'll see anyway but that's the plan uh, and so as you can see now we are coming up to the railway so this is a footpath crossing over the railway and you can see here there are some um, it's, it's it's moorings for uh, tying up and going through this strange little bridge. So if you've seen anything like this before, or if you've been through the one at Kidby, maybe you can drop me a comment as to exactly how it works. Because uh, as you'll see when we get there, if you've never been up to this one, it's very different from an ordinary swing bridge. And uh, we've we've obviously been up here before, but I've still no idea how it works. I've never actually been up here when anybody's uh, been coming through it. So through the gate. So there's the uh, railway lines. Uh, nothing coming yet this morning. So we're going over the canal now. But then. Instead of going to the other side of the canal, we uh, we cross over the tracks. So the tracks are down there. There's the canal. So we go over the tracks. Let's say, making sure there's nothing coming. Um, so now we're on the other side of the tracks. Still on the same side as of the canal as we were, and we're actually sort of on the odd little bridge. So down at this side, this is obviously where it swings round to, where all the, the wires are and everything. And at this side, now you've got the train tracks. Uh, but then, I really don't know what all this is about. Good morning. So, if anybody knows at all exactly what happens with this bridge, I would be very intrigued to know. So you've got the uh, signal box up there. Now, whether he has anything to do with opening the bridge, I'm not sure. But again, from that side, it obviously has the train track running across it. And somehow it moves out the way. But I'm really not sure how it does it. So, as I say, if anybody does know and can let me know, I would be very intrigued to find out. And then there's a little cottage at the side of the canal and another swing bridge up there, which we're walking down towards now. Okay, so since doing the filming, I've actually done a bit of research on uh, on this 
unusual bridge. It's a it's a sliding railway bridge. It's called the Vazon Sliding Bridge. Um, there has been a railway crossing bridge there since 1866, um, but that was a swing bridge. Um, and in 1925, there was a sliding bridge built for the Great Central Railway Scunthorpe Line. Um, and that bridge was replaced in 2004 by the present uh, sliding bridge to allow boats to pass. The whole deck of the bridge, which, which carries two tracks, slides sideways on rails. That's the ones that we could see um, at the side. Uh, and it's pulled by steel cables. Um, and there are two walkways on it so that pedestrians can cross the bridge when it's open or closed. Um, and the modern bridge is powered by mains electricity. Uh, but interestingly, the one that was built in 1925 was operated with a massive set of batteries. Um, uh, it's a busy railway line, uh, so boaters have to wait until there's a long enough gap between trains. And it's the operator in the signal box that we saw that then opens the bridge. Um, and it's it's not quite unique. There is another sliding bridge across the Ulverston Canal in Cumbria, but that one, like the canal itself, is now uh, disused. So who could not love to be in such amazing surroundings? Kidby is certainly not one of the uh, most picturesque villagers on the network. But once you get out onto the canal, then it, it all is just amazing. The canal doesn't actually go into the centre of Kidby, uh, it just goes on the outskirts. But it is just a short walk in if you want to uh, go to any local shops or anything like that. But as I say, it's absolutely stunning. And it's not as if, you know, it's quiet here because it's uh, the end of October, we've been in the middle of summer and it's not much different. So looking forward to being able to, to bring the boat up here. It won't be too far to come from where we're moored. So this will probably be one of our first trips out, I would imagine. You really are a grumpy swan, aren't you? Really grumpy swan this morning. And here comes Megan to annoy you. There we go. Grumpy swan, silly dog. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but it really is hissing. And there's Neil waiting patiently for us down on the towpath. So we're heading back down into, uh, into Kidby now. Back to where the uh, moorings are. And the CRT facilities and stuff. So here we are coming back up to where the moorings are and uh, where the car park is and somebody's got their fire going. Lots of uh, lovely smelling smoke. on this wide beam at the back. Just so peaceful here, there's hardly a sound to be heard. It is in quite a, an industrial area. There's also a road that runs past the end, but it's quite a quiet road. And it's Sunday morning, so that's probably why there's not too much in the way of noise this morning <laughs> so you can see how quiet it is even though it's such a gorgeous day lovely morning for coming out walking your dogs with the only car in the car park Oh, 
quite a few boats moored up here. May not look like quite a few, but it's not by any means a, a busy area, this one. And that's our walk for this morning. Thanks for watching. If you want to see how we get on with the house sale and buying a boat, please do click subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.